Howdy folks, Nathan Trevor, American Collector, and an American Mudlark in London, here in Woolwich, Greenwich area. And it's the Thames Barrier. So today we're gonna mudlark this spot, and I think low tide's in a couple hours, 10 a.m. And uh, still tired from having a good time with my college buddies. <laughs> But I'm gonna put my best foot forward and hope we find a clay pipe bowl. Let's go. And we may not find much, but but I just picked up this beautiful piece of glass. And oops. <laughs> and I'm not picking it up, but a couple of uh, metal rings here. Kinda look old. <laughs> Some older glass. Yeah, that bottom I can recognize a little bit older. And just found a little uh, something, hook or button. Maybe I'll uh, take that home and wash it off. Doesn't look like too much, but we might have our first find. All right, folks, we haven't been out here very long at all. And I got the first butt of a pipe bowl and really excited about that. But my goal of the trip is to find a full pipe bowl and that would make my whole uh, mudlark time you know, well, that's my goal. <laughs> and looks like an old uh, saw, saw blade. Pretty neat. Okay, I think I just arrived at the proper mud. Under the bridge and over here, it's awfully uh, rocky because there was some buildup. And looks like a walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not taking it. Yeah, transistor radio, I think. Of some sort. Maybe not. Whew, something. <laughs> something I didn't find. All right, I just found my second pipe bowl stem, and it's really long. But um, this mud is thick, <laughs> and my shoes get stuck in it, so we'll see if it's going to work. But the pipe bowl's right below. Let me turn this around. Oh, maybe not even a pipe bowl, just a reed. <laughs> not even a stem. Okay, folks, and our first potential treasure might be total garbage, but some glass here that looks maybe older. No, nope. oh, maybe, maybe some type of new jewel, but looks like it's all glass, so there we go. <laughs> Crystal something, yeah, not treasure. Okay, and here we found wildlife. It's our sea worm. Oops. Right here. I used to fish with these. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Here's a fun find. Some type of pottery. Looks really old and broken, but I want to keep it. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. And there are lots of pieces of old bottles. Some onion bottles, I think maybe they call them. Well, not this, but the real old ones are called onion bottles. But just a piece. Lots of iron down here. Anchors and chains and metal pipes. And everything you could think that comes off a ship. Okay, folks, we might have a real find. Really caught my eye and it's round see it right there some chance it's a, just a rock <laughs> but it looked pretty spherical no just a rock but i thought it'd be a little metal sphere boo 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 fooled at the thames Ooh, wait a minute what is this maybe it's a fossil it's possible i just found a fossil taking this thing whatever it is it's awesome <laughs> and I found my second tiny piece of a clay pipe bowl so that's fun and I just found my longest one yet so getting warmer all right something interesting for me is a bottle top but a cork is in it so I'm gonna see what it looks like so there it is. I found an old cork 
and has a piece of bottle attached to it. So, oh, it looks like uh, the Queen's Men or something. Or some type of figure. Anyway, this is awesome. <laughs> I love this find. Super, super cool. And lots of these, uh, I'm gonna say amalgamated, I think that's wrong. But, you know, fused together type rocks and, you know, iron. And something funny here, but can't be bothered. Okay, we've got a bottled bottom here and I pulled one rock away. And, you know, the expectations to find a full bottle are like zero. <laughs> But we're gonna check this one because there's more here. If you can see, there's some uh, some pretty good evidence. There's a little bit more. Let's uh, keep the camera on. See what we can do. Oh, worm! All right, let me turn the camera off because it's hard. <laughs> All right, I went for it and got super muddy and already wiped them off. But wasn't much of a bottle there, so fun trying to uh, get it and got pretty muddy and I got into the black anaerobic mud so that's all good but I'm gonna leave it for the next collector well this one's cool for me it hammers in so I may take it because it's old <laughs> and it's an awesome handle that you know must jam into the wood and I've walked back towards here and a little piece of pottery. Oh, awesome. Super awesome. Oh, it must be, uh, I don't know, some little porcelain piece. And it's, uh, oh, a, a bottle stopper, I think. And maybe it went through there, the uh, hook. All right, I'm keeping it. <laughs> and these rocks are super interesting. Many, many of them have this shape where it looks like, you know, they were chunked out. I actually kept one, the first one I found, because it was so interesting. <laughs> but they're everywhere, and uh, I'll show you mine later. Again, if I haven't already. And another old bottle with a cork, but not as aesthetically pleasing as my last one, so back to the Thames. All right, and here is a hook, or, you know, there's a name for it, but I don't really know. And I don't really have one yet, but I have the other metal piece, so I'm gonna keep it. And then this brick is pretty cool. I think it says Coven, like Coven Gardens, but I don't know that I'm carrying a brick home to Los Angeles. Oh, it says Cow, C-O-W-E. Huh, pretty cool. Nice camera find. And a solid little piece here. Wanted to take a quick pick, but this rocky area reveals a lot of stuff like that. Here, let's take a peek down below. A lot of rocks that look like this, pretty interesting. And a lot of this metal cable, it's everywhere. <laughs> really nice chap in the uh, yellow, just said. I'm not allowed down there, so this mudlarking adventure today has come to an end, and it was fun, and we did find some stuff, so when we get back to the hotel, we'll show you what we found and wrap it up. And Thames Barrier, and all these cool paths helps us where to go. We got a couple pretty interesting finds and I haven't checked it out yet because I got to wash some stuff off, but we might have a fossil. And if so, that would be wicked cool. All right, folks, there's Lalu and I'm gonna try to go eat there if I can. That West African food was so good. I'm going back tomorrow and uh, now for dessert. Magnum mint 
<laughs> okay, folks, uh, we're gonna wrap it up and do the giveaway. And good news, bad news. The great news is I had an awesome time mudlark in the Thames. The bad news is really I shouldn't be doing it because the queen and king and they say no, don't pick up this trash. But anyway, um, I had a great time out there and I'm gonna put my stuff away. So we'll be moving on to American style mudlarks. <laughs> um, all right, the giveaway is gonna be this 1943 silver American quarter. And I'm gonna pick right now and then we'll come look at some of this treasure. Okay, and back row has some stuff I found before. And uh, this bottle I found a couple days ago, or yesterday. I found these, and it's only funny because my buddies have been making fun of my butterfly sweatshirt, as they should. And I'm gonna send these to them and kinda make fun of them, so. <laughs> uh, we got some really fun rocks. This one, which I picked up, and there's a lot of them like that, that have a big chunk out of them, and it makes it really kinda neat see the different internal texture this one I picked up it, it was glowing pretty fluorescent when I had it with the water but looks kind of regular now but this one is pottery and there were quite a few of these I think it's pottery but I still love it it's pretty awesome my bottle top cork with a bottle top and uh Looks like a face right here with a funny hat on, so I love it. Three clay pipe bowl stems, and not very impressive, but you know, that is what I was looking for. A big long pipe with a bowl, but we've got these, and I can't be mad. A couple random pieces of metal, big screw. First thing I found is just nothing, a little ring. And here's some porcelain, including this one, which I love, but, you know, busted. Little teacup thing. <laughs> and a bottle top for like a water bottle or something, or anything bottle. There's the quarter that's going to Greg Miller. Nice work, Greg. And then I think we really did get a, an awesome star of the show find. I mean, I'm not an expert, but this has to be a fossil <laughs> or it's something else but either way it's kind of interesting and uh you know has to be a fossil but i totally love it and i'm gonna find more information if i can and maybe it comes from you guys if you're watching this but yeah see the pattern it's just too symmetrical to be anything else and here's the door for my room and here's my room <laughs> I'm sitting on the bed, and uh, it's tiny, really, 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 really tiny, see how that works, but, you know, it's a little tiny box. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.